Hi, Andrea Piper here with Great Expectations Realty. Now you guys have seen a lot of my videos probably, hopefully. Um, so I do want to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're really feeling like a fan, go ahead and hit the notification bell as well. In today's video, I'm going to not only talk about photography and its importance in real estate, but I'm actually going to show you um, a really good example of a beautiful home that's perfectly clean and uh, the various degrees of photography that goes into a professional real estate listing. Um, if you'll pardon my hubris, this is not just for sellers that are selling their homes themselves, but more and more I'm seeing um, real estate agents that are fairly new to real estate and don't understand that when somebody's largest asset, it's incredibly important to be the professional, to bring in the professional photographer, and for crying out loud, do not use your cell phone, <laughs> okay? Please don't do that. Here at Great Expectations Realty, we really do believe that you need to be a professional and continue to expand in your knowledge and also in your experience. And more and more photography is so key because so many buyers are going to be looking at the internet pictures. So you need to have a home picture perfect and definitely have a professional photographer that understands real estate photography. There's a huge difference between taking a video or a picture of a person or landscape versus an actual real estate photographer. They, they really understand the lighting and they probably are gonna be using drones for aerials, they can do videos, they can do just so much so that when that listing hits the market and it goes on and it's live online and everybody's looking at it, it should look like it came out of a magazine. Do that for your customers. Do that for your home if you're selling it yourself. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so this is a really good example. Uh, this house has actually not had anything in it, any people in it, anything you see in the picture is stuff I brought in. Yeah, that's a picture of my little girl when she was, well, little. As you're getting your house prepared, make sure that you remove any and all cleaning supplies, any kind of paper towels or newspapers that are sitting around. Make sure that you also remove all the appliances off the countertops. That includes the coffee machine if possible. Just stick them all under the sink or in a cabinet or in another room. But you want to have all of those off the countertops. My rule of thumb is only one item at most per surface. So if you have something decorative, everything else has to go. Obviously one of the things that you're going to want to do is to clean the house. That kind of seems obvious, but this house is actually very, very clean. There's very few things on the countertop, but what a difference it makes when you clear all of that stuff off the countertop and turn on the lights. We'll get more into lighting in a little bit, but definitely look at the big difference. Another thing that you want to remember is to go ahead and clean those windows. It's going to help so much with the lighting. So definitely remember to clean the windows. When you are cleaning your house, make sure and remove any rugs on the floor as that makes the room look smaller. Any kind of towels or sponges or anything like that, you want to go ahead and remove those as well. Um, it just never looks right and the colors can be off and sometimes it messes with the marketing materials. So just go ahead and remove those. You want to have it as neutral and as empty as possible. When you're taking a picture yourself, whether it's with a professional camera or not, please make sure to look at all of the glass and reflective items around you. I can't tell you how many times people have taken pictures in their bathing suits or with less clothing. If anybody is naked in the house, don't take your real estate photography, okay? <laughs> Just don't do it. And again, 
I highly recommend that you use professional photographer, a professional real estate photographer. In fact, it's a huge difference. Make sure also when you're going through the house that the lights are all on. Every single light you can find. Make sure all the curtains and blinds are open. Make sure that the fans are off because that's going to mess with the lighting. Make sure that you have as much direct sunlight as possible throughout the house. Those windows need to be as clean as possible inside and out. And any reflective surfaces like mirrors, shower doors, anything like that, make sure those are clean because you don't want any water spots or anything showing up in the pictures either. Also remove the trash. Nobody wants to see your trash. And what if you have something embarrassing in that trash can? Just go ahead and remove all the trash cans. And also when you are doing the bathroom shots, close the lid to the toilet bowl. Nobody wants to see inside your toilet bowl. Even if it's brand new, it's just not a good shot. It makes it look much cleaner when the toilet bowl lid is closed. Hopefully I've been able to show you how much better it is to use a real estate photographer than to try and take the pictures yourself or to take with a cell phone or even if you have a nice camera. There's just no way that you could get magazine quality photos with your cell phone. It's just not possible. And that's what's expected anymore with all of the pictures that go onto Zillow, Trulia, and all the other websites out there for selling your home. People purchase their homes on their cell phones, but you shouldn't sell yours on your cell phone. So make sure that you get that. Um, and if you have any questions, we'd be more than happy to help you. I hope that this video has helped <laughs> to explain not only how to stage your house and get it ready for pictures, but also who to hire and just basically to get you top dollar for your house and to sell it as quickly as possible. So I hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.